And them, the defense ministers, I mean, of South Korea, the U.S., and Japan did hold talks on the sidelines of the Shanghai Law Dialogue, which is one of the Asia's biggest security meetings. They vowed to increase efforts to boost military ties as well as cooperation to achieve the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Our Kim ji Young reports. The defense ministers of South Korea, the U.S., and Japan have vowed to maintain close cooperation to support diplomatic efforts to achieve the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and everlasting peace in the region. This is according to a joint statement after their trilateral meeting, which was held for more than an hour and a half on Sunday on the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore. According to the statement released by Seoul's defense ministry, the three sides stressed the need for North Korea to fully abide by international duties in accordance to the resolutions that call for Pyongyang's complete denuclearization in verifiable and irreversible manners. They also agreed on the need to thoroughly implement United Nations Security Council resolutions in regards to preventing and controlling North Korea's illegal ship-to-ship -ship transfers. In addition, the three ministers plan to share their assessments of recent North Korean missile firings and continue monitoring the regime's movements, saying the country's cooperation is critical in maintaining peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula. They vow to increase security cooperation and intelligence sharing, senior level policy consultations, as well as joint military exercises, and say that it'll work toward institutionalizing the buildup of the three countries' military trust. The three sides also reiterated the need for a peaceful resolution based on international law that guarantees the freedom of navigation, perhaps in regards to the disputed South China Sea issue, in which China and the U.S. are conducting patrols in the area amid a bitter trade battle that has strained. China US ties. Kim Jian, Adina News. And as we briefly mentioned in our earlier um, article on this Monday morning, the South Korea's Defense Minister Chung Kyung Do and the US Acting Defense Chief Patrick Shanahan will sit down in Seoul to discuss key issues regarding the South Korea US alliance, and we'll have more updates for you in our later newscast.